As I watch Besharam, I marveled at Abhinav Singh Kashyap's powers at pitching stories. How, I wonder, did he convince not only Bollywood's hottest new superstar Ranbir Kapoor, but also his parents to sign up for this train wreck of a film? What did he say that made them do the things that they do here, including Kapoor Sr. defecating and Kapoor Jr. showing us his butt crack? Clearly, Abhinav has some talent, but none of it is visible in the actual film he's made. The sheer inanity of Besharam is hard to fathom or to describe. I think the attempt was to capture a certain lump and charm specific to New Delhi, to celebrate a cheerful, robust vulgarity. This could have been fun, but it needed conviction, skill and some genius writing. Instead, what we get is willful stupidity and three wonderful actors servicing a script so thin, so tedious and so infantile that I'm sure Abhinav made it up as he was filming. Inspector Chulbul Chotala and your Head Constable Bulbul Chotala. Ranbir Kapoor as Bubbly, the small-time car thief, pumps up the swagger and the charm but is flattened by the writing. Rishi and Neetu, both effortlessly lovely, are reduced to caricatures. In one scene, she shouts at him while he sits on the pot. It ends with him letting out a fart and defecating, at which point I started to feel embarrassed for them. And then there's the heroine, Pallavi Sharda, who has the screen presence of wallpaper. I couldn't remember one scene of hers after I'd left the theatre. <laughs> The producer's money and the actor's time have already been wasted by Besharam. I recommend that you save both by skipping it. I'm going with one star. I was excited to see Diana because I figured that even if director Oliver Hirsch Beagle and actress Naomi Watts can't attain the brilliance of director Stephen Fears and actress Helen Mirren in The Queen, at least the story could provide some cheap tabloid thrills. Alas, it was not to be. Diana is misguided, trite, unintentionally funny, and the worst sin in my book, just flat out tedious. Based on the book Diana, Her Last Love, the film is about the last two years of Diana's life and her tempestuous love affair with the Pakistani heart surgeon Hasrat Khan. This rocky romance is rendered wholly lifeless by Hirsch Beagle and writer Stephen Jeffries. There is no room for subtlety or subtext here. Diana has the depth of a Hallmark card and some of the worst dialogue I've heard recently. When Diana visits Hasnat's family in Lahore, his grandmother holds her hand and says in Hindi, Tum to ek jawan sherni ho. Naomi Watts, an Oscar-nominated actress, works hard at the trademark head tilt and half smile, but she's entirely defeated by the utter foolishness of the material. At one point, after a big dip, Diana sneaks into Hasnat's apartment and cleans it up. The princess does the dishes, makes the bed, and then draws a heart on a mirror. Naveen Andrews, as the surgeon who has the world's most famous woman stalking him, is so charmless that you wonder why Diana can't do better. When you see him quoting Rumi, you will burst into laughter. Diana is an inexplicably bland portrait of an extraordinarily dramatic life. It takes some talent to make Lady Di boring. I'm going with two stars.